Yo, I can't believe you're drinking that. Bro, that's a lot of crickets. This is chicken for real? We got it, we got it. <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Serge Ibaka, AKA Mafuzi Chef. Welcome to How Hungry Are You? I do art and this kitchen is art. Why are you seem so excited to eat this? Oh thing? man. Oh. <laughs> it's spicy. Don't even tell me what it is. Bro, this is disgusting. Do I trust him? No, hell no. Today, I will be cooking for the ace of the Toronto Blue Jay, Alec Manoa. Back to me, Serge Ibaka. Seen some shows in the past. People have eaten some crazy stuff, so uh, kind of excited to see what he has in store for me. Alec is the new king of the six. Another star and a legend in the making. No pressure, Alec. It has really turned into an event every time Alec Manoa takes the mound. Fastball right down the middle, strike three, call. Next level dominance. He says he loves sushi, and today I'm gonna surprise him. Let's see if he got the juice to take a bite. Let me show you what I got. Shirako, fish sperm. So good. Big man, welcome. What's good, brother? What's up? Nice How you doing? Man? Welcome. Good. Thank you for coming. By the way, I heard you speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Posible. Sí? Pero de dónde eres? Yo soy cubano. Ah, cubano. Ah, qué sí. bien. Pero vamos a ir a con algo. Vamos. Venga. Let's go. Welcome to How Hungry Are You? Mashed potatoes? No, this is not mashed potatoes. <laughs> this is actually it's called fufu. Today is gonna be your first time try, and I wanna make you. Try this, and this is a chicken, an ogusu. This is a more typical uh, Nigeria plate. What's under the chicken? The chi there's a chicken, and an ogusu is a stew. Yeah. yeah, it's very healthy. Actually, yeah, it's, it's really healthy. healthy. Yeah, this is my favorite in Nigeria. Are you ready to try it? Yeah, I'm ready to it go. It's good, right? I've tried chicken before. You tried chicken before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is not chicken. No. Man, this is not chicken, so let's do it. <laughs> you been to Africa before? I've never been. Never been? No. Would you like to go one day to visit? I do. Yeah, sure. I want to see the animals there. Well, you just only go in Africa to see the animals? Well, the, the food too. The yeah. food, the culture. So you're everything. gonna teach me a little bit about it today. And okay. I'll, okay. I'll then go you're gonna there. you're gonna start understanding. All right. Now I'm gonna put a little bit for you here. We're gonna start a little bit first. You tell me how you like it. This part of chicken you like? Take the bone. Yeah. The bone. All right. Here. It's fufu. So you you have with your hands. Oh, with my hands. This way. I mean, it's clean, so it's good. So good. I'm a little worried because you told me this isn't chicken. Let me know how you feel. Mm. You like spicy because it's a little spicy on it. Don't even tell me what it is. Because it's good. This is you just. I don't want you to get too trust. comfortable because uh, this is just the start. It's going to get worse? It's going to get worse. You're earning my trust. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now you know. But don't get too comfortable again. This is chicken for real? Yeah, this is what chicken here. Yeah, come on. I don't know. I said it's chicken. You said it's not chicken. <laughs> Can you see it's chicken? Do you need glasses to see if it's chicken? No, it's a chicken. Actually, I'm, I'm lying. This is not chicken. <laughs> I'm joking. No, nah, it's chicken. A chicken. Yeah, a chicken, right? Okay. So, since we're eating, so the food is good, it's a perfect time for me to ask you some questions. Okay. Because now I got your trust now, all right? <laughs> you like the food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we go here. How did you get into baseball? So I have an older brother. And um, when I was like two, three years old, he would be at baseball practice. Mm -hmm. And I would always just be at the practices, like trying to throw, trying to play with the team and all that stuff. And I don't know, I just grew a love, a love for the sport. And it was just so fun to me. And uh, about 20 years later, we're here. So what was it like being on All-Star this season for you? It was your first time being on yeah. All-Star, right? Yeah, first time. How was it like? It was amazing. Um, you know, for, for me, first time, um, I got to go and like there were some guys that have been there nine, ten times, you know, veterans, you know, kind of like you, veteran. Some of these guys, like I've grown up watching them be amazing. When I walked in the locker room, the little kid inside of me was like, oh my goodness, like, you know, there's that guy and there's that guy. So when you was elected to be on our star, who was the player you was looking the most to, to see you to meet them? The biggest one for me was uh, Justin Verlander. He's been playing for, you know, 15, 16 years. He's one of the best pitchers ever, you know? So for me, we were actually in the hotel and I saw him come walking by and he kind of was walking like towards me. 
and I kind of, it was like the first time I ever got like a little kind of like starstruck. I was like, oh shoot. Um, and then I said, what's up to him? Like introduced myself. He's like, man, I know who you are. He's like, uh, he's like, you're amazing. I'm a big fan of you. And I was, that's yeah, you. that's what he that's told cool, me. Man. And I was like, uh, I was like, I was like, wow, you're a big fan of me. I'm not me. <laughs> your cool. biggest fan. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I was able to talk with him a little bit and kind of try and pick his brain on how he's been so good for so long. And um, yeah, it was, it was really cool. You got mic'd up, why? You got mic'd yeah, up? Yeah, mic'd up, yeah. Yeah, how did you like it? It was fun. Alec, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Here we go. Well, you love pitching, don't you? Oh, this is great. Here we go, there's one. Yeah, look at Kirk, he knows what I want. Here we go, there's two. He caught it. Right down the middle, but we'll take it. Three punches. <laughs> Let's go. Alec, congratulations. Woo! Thank you for doing this. When you're pitching, there's a lot of inner thoughts, you know, that kind of go in in your head. Uh, for me, being able to go through that thought process out loud, um, I thought it was pretty cool. So you are a high energy player mm -hmm. and trash talker. I heard you challenged Gary Cole to fight. What happened? We were playing in New York, mm -hmm. uh, and I made a pitch, and it kind of it hit one of their, their main players and, um, and this guy jumped like the, you know, it's kind of like when the bench is clear in basketball. Yeah. Uh, so imagine if, you know, you, you make a hard foul on somebody, you're not trying to hurt him mm -hmm. or anything like that. And somebody runs from the bench and kind of gets close to you. You're going to be like, hey man, what the? No, I'm, I would, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to ask, hey man, no. No, you're, you're coming at him? Yeah. Yeah. If you come close to me like that. Yeah. You, you left your bench to you come at me. I don't want to ask him, man. Exactly. So he kind of left his bench. Okay. Um, and I, I didn't even notice he had left his bench because I was talking with the guy that I hit. I was okay. like, hey, like, you know I'm not trying to hit you right here. Yeah. Like, why is this guy coming out onto the field? Yeah. Uh, so after the game, I just said, if he wants to leave his bench, he can come all the way next time. We'll see what happens. When you do that, the foul. I mean, I don't know if it's foul, but did the ref right. call the foul? Well, when I hit him, yeah, he goes to first automatically. Okay, it's foul. Yeah. What is that? Is that flag on one, like an NBA? No, it's just, a, it's just a hit by pitch. Like, okay. Like when you foul somebody, he goes to the line okay. and gets free points. Like I hit this guy, he gets to, he goes to first base. All right. Yeah. So you got called foul. Base, yeah. <laughs> it's weird hearing you compare it like that. Tell me about baseball culture and routines. I don't know how it is in basketball, but yeah. in baseball you have uh, you have like position players. Um, that they're going through their like everyday routine because they're gonna play every day. And then you have starting pitchers like myself where we, my routine is like based off five days, you know? So uh, like like the fifth day is my pitching day and then the other four days is to get ready to pitch for that day. In the NBA, we play three games a week, sometimes four games in a week. Yeah. You guys play once game in a week. Pitchers, yeah. But the whole team like six to seven a week. So you play every day? Yeah. Well, not me personally, but the team, yeah. I don't understand. Okay, you have to explain to me how you on a team, and you don't play every day, and your teammates play every day. It don't make sense. Explain to me a little bit. Please. Uh, so we have a, we have a five-man starting rotation, right? Okay. So I can't throw 100 pitches every day. Every day. I, I have no arm. But our position players, that's our lineup, mm -hmm. you know? So starting nine, shortstop, third base, second base, all those guys are basically the same guys, so they play every day. So you, you, you can take like two days off with no game? I, I go, well, I have to go to the game and I still- You I'm, go there, I know, but I'm, I'm saying I'm talking playing. I take four off. Four off. And then one on. And then another four off. So you off, play one, one on. once, once game in a week? Once every five days. Hey, that's, yeah. that's a lot of rests. <laughs> Do you really use your, your shoulder like that to take all? These days off? Everything that I do, like on the days in between, mm -hmm. is to get it back and, and, and juice so, up again and ready to go for that fifth day. Dang. If you take like five, four or five days off, yeah. the next is going to be good too. Well, it's not off. I mean, off the game, I'm talking about the game. <laughs> That's my job. Do you wish you could play like at least two? I, I wish two? I could do five. Five, huh? Yeah, but I just, yeah. I don't think that it, it's good for the longevity of the arm. Me. Yeah. Well, now we're going to take a little break. And then we come back with some spicy questions. Okay. Are you ready for the spicy questions? I'm ready. Oh yeah? I'm ready. Is there spicy food coming with it? Spicy food, no. Food, don't worry about it, food. It's coming. <laughs> Just be ready. Okay. All right, let's do it. People. Now, we're back again. We're going to play this game. It's called Spicy Questions. 
Yeah, what? Call the nasty questions. No, spicy questions. <laughs> it's no nasty. It's spicy questions. Okay. And um, here we have a cricket tea. Actually, this kind of cricket, I never had it before because this is the first time I see this. Normally, I do with the smallest crickets. So these okay. are a little bigger? This is too bigger and um, it's, it's kind of looking like very nasty. But anyway. Are those things alive? Yes, sir. If I throw up, <laughs> don't blame me. <laughs> no, you're going to throw up, trust me. It's good. But the only thing is, if you don't answer my question, you have to take a shot of cricket tea. So know? every time I do answer, you're not going to drink. And you will? I drink. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's. We got. We got deal. We can do that. Perfect. Let's do it. All right. I like that. <laughs> so uh, let me start first here. I'm gonna answer every question. <laughs> Good. Oh, perfect for me. That's me. I have to drink it. Uh, <laughs> just made a deal. One. Yeah, you gotta drink. It. All right. Um, let's go. Some of these things are still alive. We're just yeah. Swimming around now. Okay. I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna add a little bit of big crickets here. You can see here. Okay, I need to be careful because if he don't... Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, still moving here. Oh, this one's still moving. Oh, no, I'm joking. Anyway. So, you ready? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Who is the worst cheater in the baseball story? In baseball history? Yeah. Cheater? Yeah. Uh, uh, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, what he did? Yeah, he cheated. He used a lot of, like, sticky stuff. Yeah. To make his pitches better. Wow. And he uh he kind of got called out called out on it. Okay. Yeah. So this one's for you. Oh, this is for me, yeah. That's one the big one. You answer that. I <laughs> Ooh, this one, I never had this one. This is too big. Oh, they are moving. Oh, why you did this to me? Mm. <laughs> I told you, I'm answering every question. I'm not drinking that tea. <laughs> yeah, you're doing that. <laughs> Those questions is not spicy questions. It's too easy. Yeah. He's going to answer everything. <laughs> yes, he told you. Who, who, who made these questions? Okay, let's go. No, who made these questions? Let's go. Those questions is too easy. I'm going to keep drinking on. <laughs> That's why we did it. That's why huh? we did it. <laughs> did it on purpose, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the worst? Oh, no, OK, I just which blue, which blue Jays player would help you in a fight? Vladdy. Vladdy? Yeah, I say Vladdy. He's got he's got a good competitive uh, blood flow. So, and he's a big dude. So, I'll take it. He's out. the one gonna help you in the fight. Yeah. And which who will hide? Which one who will hide? <laughs> like when his fight comes, like he will hide. <laughs> so you want me to say which teammate wouldn't, no. wouldn't fight? Yeah. Okay. Like when his fight comes, like you when you're in top fight, he's gonna hide. I'm gonna himself. I'm gonna say this because I think he will understand me. Answering this, uh, Ross Stripling. Yeah. So yeah. when the fight come like this, he'll, you he'll know he's just, hide. Yeah, he'll probably just run around and maybe kick somebody that's already down. But no, no, I'm think. not talking about kick somebody out. Like when it's the fight, or when you enter trouble or whatever, he's gonna hide himself. Like he's gonna be away. <laughs> all right, I'll say Ross Stripling. He'll probably be in the training room when all of, it, all of it's going on, anyways. All right, I have to drink again. <laughs> Those questions are so easy, Jolly. Hmm. <laughs> Keep drinking today. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, bro, you just dropped some big ones in there. Uh, <laughs> this is not spicy questions. Yo, I can't believe you're drinking that. <laughs> because th this is not spicy question. They're making me drink now on purpose now. <laughs> Those are not spicy questions. <laughs> I have been told some baseball players have a beer during the games. Which of your teammates have a beer during the game? So every once in a while, like some some of the pitchers that aren't pitching, mm -hmm. you remember how we talked about like once every five days? Yeah. Uh, so like uh, there's this thing called uh, a rally beer, right? So if the team- What is rally beer? So if the team's not hitting or something, you need mm -hmm. a, like a rally. Rally? Like like a rally is like get get the bats going, like, like the, score like... some runs. Okay. Yeah. Like on a run in basketball, you go 12 and 0 run or something like that. Like we, yeah. you need a run. You run. Okay. We need a rally. Yeah. Uh, sometimes guys will have like a rally beer. Not to think again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who wrote the, the spicy question, but I like this game. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this one is good. I think. 
I hope so. <laughs> Can't catch you on this once. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Most famous person in your contacts. And you can text them and they text you back. I said Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer? Yeah. The basketball player? Yeah. The one and only? Yeah, the one and only. The beard? Yeah, the beard. Carlos Boozer, yeah. And uh, you yeah. guys, you guys friends? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So we're gonna find out. Okay. What's your phone? You wanna call him? Yes, we're gonna do a video call with him. And if Carlos Boozer answer your video call, then I take a shot. But if he don't answer, you have to take a shot. Now it's my turn to get you now. <laughs> I'm gonna cross my fingers, cross my fingers and hope Boozer don't answer this call because I'm adding more crickets. I hope you don't answer because you have to drink some. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna see this and be like, why didn't I answer? I'm tired of drinking. Okay, that's it. You didn't answer. You take Just one call? Oh yeah, of course, one shot. <laughs> what if he wants to buy his phone? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll give you one more chance. You say, I'm a very nice guy. No, text him now, why the video call? Right. I'll give you one more chance. I'm gonna pour some in here, just, you know. No, that's you, uh, yeah, yeah, let me COVID. continue one. COVID, oh, sorry, you're right. <laughs> you're right, COVID. Right there is good. Yeah, we got two COVIDs. Wait, 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 I'm gonna add some. He's gonna answer, I hope, I hope he don't answer. I can't believe he's not answering me right yeah. now. Yeah. Ah, let me add a little extra. Ah, you missed it, did you? Ah, you didn't miss it. Ah, you didn't drink it. Ah, you didn't drink it. Ah. Okay. Now it's your turn. <laughs> All right. I should have said I didn't have my phone on me. Bro, that's a lot of crickets. Oh, you, you see how many? You barely had game? any crickets. You I were just drinking. Hey, 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 it's a game here. Don't complain. <laughs> See that? It's not the bad, right? <coughs> My brother, I just swallowed a whole cricket hole. You saw I felt his legs and everything. Okay. How do, what do you think about it? Isn't that bad, right? It's terrible. I don't like tea. All right. I had to get you once. <laughs> I have to. If I didn't get you this one, it would be over for me. Because I was tired to keep drinking that. This those spicy game is weak. <laughs> whose idea is it? <coughs> huh? Who's whose idea? It was an easy spicy game, right? It wasn't that bad. Hopefully nobody's mad at me for answering. <laughs> I'm disappointed because uh, normally my spicy game is very spicy. This was my spicy game. It looked like they, they want me to drink it, but it's okay. I did. Okay, now we're done with the spicy game now. Now the really, really food is starting now. The really thing is the short time now. It's going to be worse than crickets? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who do you see? Let's do it. You do it? Let's try it. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna make my sushi. It's a cucumber show time. The art of slicing. This is what I call no look. And now I'm gonna cut the avocado. Voila. Easy. I'm gonna wet my hands with water. The rice. Avocado, cucumber, and last one, fish sperm. Voila. <laughs> Itadakimas. All right, my guy. This is the last part of the show. All right? And the uh, fun part. The fun part, yeah. <laughs> So, how hungry are you? I'm pretty hungry. Pretty hungry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I heard you like sushi. I love sushi. Okay, today I made you... No, actually I design because I'm... I'm food designer. Food designer, I don't cook. <laughs> so today I design you shirako. It's a fish sperm. Okay. All right? So... Fish what? Fish sperm. Okay. What kind of fish? What kind of fish? What kind of fish is that? Huh? Cut. It's cut. Cut, yeah. 
fish sperm. So, uh, okay. You know, you, have you ever had uh, fish sperm before? No. No? Um, I've ate fish before, so yeah. I guess they have sperm in them, so. No, 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 no. This, this is actually only sperm. No, it's nothing else. Okay. Pure sperm of fish. It's protein, actually. 100% high protein. The best protein you can oh, ever you have. Why are you so excited to eat this? Huh? Because uh, how you like fish <laughs> and sushi? <laughs> All right. So you see, this one here is the fish sperm. High protein. <laughs> it's my first time eating fish sperm too. So dip sauce? Yeah, dip sauce. You want to do like a cheers? Cheers? Uh, I don't like to do cheers with fish sperm, bro. It's kind of weird. <laughs> You know. it's, it's, uh, it's not weird eating the fish sperm already? I know, but doing a cheers with fish sperm, bro, I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, let's just do it. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. What do you think about it? You like sushi, right? Yeah. What is, is if this different? was the only sushi I ever had to eat, yeah. I'd probably stop eating sushi. <laughs> One more time. All right. Ready? Let's do it. We gotta get a lot of sauce. sauce. Lot exactly. of sauce. Let's keep the super <laughs> uh, sperm uh, taste. Mm. What do you got? Mm. Not bad, huh? You like fish sperm? I don't think I'm a big fan of fish sperm. That's a good, you guys, mm -hmm. a good answer. Mm -hmm. That's a good no. answer. Actually, uh, this is my first time actually eating. Uh, really? <laughs> it's kind of funny talking about. It's your first time eating sperm? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we can't, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, man. <laughs> All right, then. Me, you're the one uh, eating fish sperm. <laughs> that was the good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, there's the avocado all the way at the end. Is the first time uh, eating a sperm? <laughs> is it the first time? It looks like it's not your first time eating sperm, man. Right? I don't know what that is. All right, all right. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. My brother. Thank, thank you, you for bro. coming, man. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you for having me. I appreciate that. Thank you for your time. This is what's hungry are you. And we are here in Toronto. We found the future, the best in the game. We are here at the baseball. And I learned a lot of things about baseball today. And uh, just don't foul again, man. <laughs> don't foul again. <laughs> no more fouls. No, no more, more fouls. fouls, all right? Yeah. Because you, you may get fragged too, like an NBA, no, no, and no, you no out. Flagrant too. All right? Thank you so much. And uh, thank everybody to be here. And um, see you guys. <laughs>